Hey divas, welcome back to the Makeup Box. To those of you who are joining in for the first time, it's good to have you here. Hope you enjoy. I did promise a series of prom tutorials, so this is my second one. Um, so if you want to see how I achieve this look, then let's continue to watch. So I did my brows off camera as usual, and here I am just blending out the concealer underneath them. And I'm using a blending brush that I purchased off of eBay but yeah you just want to blend that out and taking some Urban Decay Potion primer I'm just priming my eyelids you know so that my shadows won't crease up on me you know it's prom and you want your makeup your eyeshadows to stay in place all night so you want to prime so here I'm just placing the LA girl pro conceal concealer in warm honey yeah it's warm honey and I'm just applying that all over my lids because I have dark circles I love working with this even canvas you know less discoloration so I'm just gonna apply this on my lids and this also acts as a base for my eyeshadows as well now to set that concealer in place I'll be using my Sasha buttercup setting powder and I'm taking my blending sponge my beauty blender and I'll just be setting that concealer in place because we want our shadows to last we don't want no creasing so just to secure all of that we're just gonna blend it out with some setting powder now going into my Z palette I'll be taking this hot pot from Coastal Scents it's Shemi Nude and this has grown on me it's become a favorite because it's so smooth and it blends out so easily so just to set the brow bone concealer we'll, we'll be using this color okay so I'll be taking the Makeup Forever Artistic palette and that pink color we're gonna use as our transitional color and for some clean lines I'm just applying some tape you know something different so as you can see I'm about to just apply that pink eyeshadow into my transitional area you know this is the first time that I'm actually putting a color there like pink because I love those rusty tones you know to blend out the rest of the colors but we're going for something new and so I'm just popping that pink into my transitional area not directly into the crease but right above it so it can blend out the other shadows as we gradually build this look so going back into that makeup forever palette I'm taking that purple there are two shades of purple in that palette but the lighter shade I'm using just to gradually build this look I'm going for so I'm using this great looking shadow you know right underneath the pink I don't want to lose that pink color so I'm going right underneath that and I'm applying this purple shadow So as you can see, without adding more product to that brush, I'm just lightly putting that pink back from whatever was left on the brush. I'm just lightly applying that to, you know, that transitional area. So back into the Z palette and I'm taking this, what, Makeup Geek Cherry Cola. I'm using that to define the crease some more and just to deepen it up. You want to build your colors and you want to properly blend them out. This defines your look so much more. So you really want to do that. And this brush that I'm using, it was purchased, um, this set was purchased off of Amazon. And I think it's BS Mall, so you want, maybe want to check them out if you're interested in purchasing. But these are some really soft brushes and they get the job done. So taking this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Warm Honey, we're going to carve out our crease. To me, this is the easiest way to do a cut crease. So I'm just taking this Coastal Scents small concealer brush and I'm applying that product on there and I'm just taking my time. You want to take your time. You don't want to rush this step because it's so important that you keep some of the color. You're only getting rid of a little. You really want to define that cut crease. So a small brush is what you really want to work with when it comes to cutting your crease so yeah
So going back into the Makeup Forever palette, I'll be taking this light pink and I'm just applying that onto my eyelid and I'm using the largest shader brush that came inside of my Coastal Sense 22 piece set kit. I had this brush for about two years so I took good care of it so yeah, you want to take good care of your brushes, wash them properly and hardly any fallout, no brush hair shedding anywhere so yeah. After applying this, you want to clean up your crease area as well and I'm taking this brush came inside of my Naked 2 palette so I'm just using the end part the small part of it to just define my crease some more because I lost some of the color so you just want to blend carefully so that you won't mess up all that hard work Okay, so I'm going back into that transitional color, which was the first pink we put down. And I felt like I lost some of it, so I'm just lightly applying that back to my transitional area. Now, time to apply some glitter. I'm using the Too Faced Glitter Glue, and I'm applying this in sections. And the glitter that I'm about to use, I purchased from Couture Cosmetics. Very pretty. So we're just going to apply this in sections as we go. So I'm taking this brush I cannot remember the name right now of hand but I'll be leaving it in the description box below but I'm applying the glitter lightly you know you don't want it too messy and you don't want to add too much so taking my glitter glue first applying it in sections and then going in with our glitter and we're gradually getting there to the end result So you just want to repeat the steps, you just want to do the same thing that you did on the other eye onto the next and working with glitter can be very hard at times so you really want to take your time, don't rush, you don't want to mess up your cut crease so just take your time and lightly apply glitter, okay ladies, lightly apply it. So now we're removing our tape. The eyes are almost done. Now we're gonna move on to the face. Um, I'll be going in with the LA Girl HD Orange Corrector. And this is just to conceal all your dark blemishes, your dark circles. You wanna use this product lightly because it's very pigmented. And so use it lightly and blend it out evenly as well. So I'm just trying to conceal my acne scarring and my hyperpigmentation and we're just gonna blend this out. So taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, I'm just going to prime the areas that I'm prone to get oily. That's my nose, my forehead, and chin. So I'm just taking that to just mattify those areas. And I love this primer. Haven't used it for a while, but it's still one of my faves. You got to get you one if you don't have it already. So I'm just blending it out into the skin and it's blurring my pores as well. So I went ahead and did my foundation off camera and today I used the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the color Sandalwood and I love it. It's nice and mattifying and I also highlighted off camera. I used the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer in Almond and now I'm setting it with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder and in my last video I wasn't sure how I liked it but it has grown on me. I love this setting powder. I was sleeping on it for far too long. I love it. You don't have it, go get it. It's bomb like that. 
So after applying my setting powder, right now I'm gonna bronze up the face because we're looking a little flat. And I'm using the CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronzer along with the Cala Contouring Brush. And I'm just chiseling those cheekbones and bronzing my temples, forehead. You know the gist, you know how this goes. We're just bringing some life definition back into the face because we don't want to lose all that structure so we're just building that back so next I'll be taking my MAC mineralized skin finish in dark deep and I'm just going to set the outer area of my face and also dipping that brush into the product and lightly dusting away the excess Sasha Buttercup that we set our highlighted areas with. We're just going to dust that away and also blend the powders out. So taking my beauty blender along with some of the Sasha Buttercup just to clean up the area where we applied our bronzer, we're just going to lightly place that underneath and buff it out into the skin. Using the CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronzer, I'm going to snatch my nose and I'm just taking this Coastal Sands brush, it's a small eyeshadow brush, and I'm just outlining the areas on the nose where I would love to chisel some more. So yeah, you want to buff that and blend it out properly. So because we don't want to look too flat, right where we apply the bronzer, we're going to go right underneath that and we're going to be using this contouring palette, those two shades. And this palette is from Coco Couture Cosmetics. So I'm applying those two shades to the areas where I want to define some more. And this brush is from the Cala brand. So yeah, we're just going to contour a bit more. Then to bring some color back to the face, I'll be taking this sleek blush, and this is in the color Sahara. So to apply a tint of color to the cheeks, I'm just applying this with a luxury brush. I can't remember the number of hand, but I'll be leaving it down in the description box. So going back to the eyes, we're gonna go right back into that Makeup Addiction palette. And the same thing that we did to our crease, we're gonna bring those colors down on the lower lash line. And the brushes that I'll be using, this one is from L'Oreal and Lanical, and the other two brushes, BH Cosmetics and Coastal Scents. Taking my MAC Fix Plus Spray, I'll be spritzing this all over my face and this will just help everything to melt together. So taking my BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Highlighting Palette, I'll be using those two colors along with my Coastal Sands Fan Brush to apply some glow to the top of my cheeks. So as you can see, I'm adding that glow onto the top of my cheeks, the forehead, cupid's bow, chin, and my nose. So taking this L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black, I'll be using that to lengthen my eyelashes and I love this mascara because of the applicator, the brush really gets in between those hairs and it does a remarkable job of just lengthening your lashes.
So here I'm just showing you the style lash that I'm about to wear. The information will be listed below. I'm showing you how I apply them and how I add the glue onto the lash band. If you want to know the names, it will all be listed below. Also, if you can see closely, I had added a nude liner to my waterline, but I didn't really like how it went with this look. So I just took the LA Girl Pro Primer Pencil in black and just popped that into my waterline. Taking MAC's lip liner in Nice Moth, I'm going to line my lips. And this lip liner is so creamy that when I bent my lip, like I literally didn't have to line the top lip. I just took a brush and blended it out, went in with my NYX Summer Breeze Matte Lipstick, and the combination was crazy. I loved it. So my lashes were kind of too curly, so taking this lash curler, I just wanted to straighten them out a bit, and it did the job. And going right back into that Makeup Forever Artist palette, I wanted a pop of color into my inner corner, so I just lightly added that onto the area right there, and as you can see, that added so much pizzazz to So that's it folks, we've reached the end of another prom tutorial. I had so much fun creating this look and yeah, thank you for tuning in again and for those of you who are joining in for the first time, do not forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Once again, thank you and until the next time, bye.